Good morning. It is the early hours of Wednesday. Uh, actually, yeah. Uh, December the 23rd. Um, I just woke up a little while ago and I'm talking kind of quietly because the whole house is asleep. So I hope you can hear this. I'm, my apologies if you can't hear it. Um, I'll try to speak a little louder, but I don't want to wake up my kiddos. Um, I had quite a dream last night, actually early this morning. It was the last dream I had before I woke up. And um, I feel a real sense of urgency uh, to warn people Jesus is coming any minute. Um, I just want to say I, uh, now is the accepted hour. Now is the accepted time. We don't, we're not promised tomorrow. I just want to read that. Um, in Corinthians 6 2, 2 Corinthians 6 2, it says, Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. If you don't know Jesus, um, believe that he died for your sins. Rest in that he died for your sins. Repent of them, but rest in that. That he died on the cross for you. He rose again three days later. And he is with the Father, and he is returning soon. And he loves you. He died to take away all the sins you would ever commit, past, present, future. And I just want to tell you this because I want you to not live in fear of what's coming, but I believe uh, that we're about to say, see his appearing. Um, I had a dream. Um, I've had a lot of dreams in the last few months, but they seem to be ramping up. Um, and even last night before I went to bed, I prayed to God and I felt I was going to have this particular type of dream, but the dream was strange because it seemed like everything was happen happening simultaneously. Um, I looked out my window of my living room in the dream and I noticed that everything had an orange haze to it. Um, I looked up at the sky out the window and I could see that uh, the sun just didn't look right. Um, I started to realize that it wasn't just a sun. Hi Vivian, that's my daughter. <laughs> It wasn't just a sun. Come here. Come here. I'm just going to include her in this, you guys. She just woke up, so I knew someone would wake up. Um, anyways, and then I realized there were other balls of light, and I realized it wasn't suns. It were it was meteors coming down, and um, I could see them off in the distance. And at that time, I saw something that looked like, um, strangely enough, a UFO zip by. It just zipped across the line of sight, and um, I ran out to my yard, and other people were in their yards, and they were looking up at the sky, and um, they saw the UFO, and they were amazed by it, and they were, I saw a couple who were just uh, entranced by it, and I immediately noticed that they were um, enamored with it almost, and I, I, I started praying. I started rebuking it, almost like, get off my lawn, you know. I started rebuking it and telling it to leave in the name of Jesus because it was demonic. And I started telling people that UFOs are demonic. That is demonic. And um, and it flew off out of sight. And um, oddly enough, the next thing I remember is I'm standing on the edge of a cliff next to water, next to the ocean. And I see people playing out in the water on the edge with their dogs. Like they're walking their dog. And um, I look out. And um, for some reason, I had someone guiding me, and I don't know who they were. It was a woman. I don't know if her, her intentions were holy or not, but I looked out over the water, and I could see. She pointed her finger out to the horizon, and I saw a wave. And um, I saw a wave, and um, it was coming, and it was growing, and I realized it was a tsunami. And I told the people, get out of the water, get out of the water, and they were like, they they thought the water was getting kind of choppy, but they weren't really all that nervous until one of them slipped in the water with their dog, and he, they were having a hard time getting from not getting pulled out into the wave. And so um, that's when they panicked and started climbing up the rocks. I'm not sure what happened to them because then my dream um, raced me back right to my house again, and I was in my living room. And I started seeing these rocks. They were catching up. They were falling. It's as if we had some sort of advance warning, which doesn't make a lot of sense, but I saw them coming down, and um, they hadn't reached Earth yet. And um, I hurried up, and I grabbed my phone, and I typed. Um, I was going to send a Facebook message that said, um, 
get saved. That's it, because that's all I had time for, get saved. And when I went to hit, hit enter, the internet connection went down, everything went down. And um, I ran over to my husband and I grabbed his hands, I kissed him, and I held on to his hands. I said, we're going, and we waited, and then I woke up. So I know the Lord is, I could easily be fearful of this, and the Lord is trying to reach us and tell us he's coming for his bride, but for the rest of the world, um, there is judgment coming very swiftly and very soon. And this is not the Christmas Eve Eve message that people want to hear. Um, but I believe that the urgency is such that I threw on a hat because I have morning hair, okay? And um, I prayed about it quickly, but I felt him telling me I needed to get this out there right away. Um, and I just want to tell you, um, there are a lot of people who think, you know, things are going to get a lot better, um, that there's a turnaround coming. And um, there's a lot of people who are deceived. But I just want to um, say that scripture, Proverbs 27, 1 tells us, do not boast about tomorrow. For you do not know what a day may bring. Isn't that the truth? We don't know from day to day anymore. Um, James 4, 13 through 14. Now this sounds like a lot of people I know right now. It says, now listen, you who say today or tomorrow, we will go to this or that city. Spend a day there, carry on business and make money. Um, you know, why do you even know that what will happen tomorrow? Um, people are assuming that things will just always be the same way. And I have to tell you, they're not. They're not going to be the same. And Jesus is coming. If you don't have trust in him yet, put your trust in him. He is, a, he is faithful to forgive us our sins. He is just and he is faithful to forgive us our sins when we ask him. And um, ask him into your heart. Ask him into your life to walk with you. And you know what? He will give you peace. Um, I know I sound urgent, but my heart is at peace because I know where I'm going. I know where I'm headed. And I want to ask you if you do know the same, if you know where you're headed. It's very important that you do. I love you guys. I pray for you. Um, I hope that even in the midst of all of this news, that God gives you peace this Christmas. He may come. He may come very, very soon. I do not know, but I feel it's imminent. The Lord um, only knows, but it's imminent. So be watchful, be ready, be in prayer, but be at peace. Thank you.